All right. Hey, Ivan. Hey. Um, what do you feel about channeling Beelzebub? Is that a problem? Oh, uh, who is this? Beelzebub. What is that? <laughs> he's, he's, like a, he's like a demon. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, be right. I run into them a lot. I'm always tearing them down. So, and um, you do overall energies too. I want to go to the Super Bowl, like the energy of the Super Bowl. Okay. Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. Alpha. What's it called? Alpha Bob. Alpha. Alpha. The Alpha Bob. Okay. All right. Yeah. Was it the Alpha Bob? Oh, I'm trying to hear it. Beelzebub. Beelzebub. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, it'll be all right. I can connect yeah, to it. the first one. Because I got like a timeline that I went through February. It was really intense and it made me go crazy in the end. So, but you like it attached itself to you or something like that? Or? No, I just, I was doing all this astral work and like SpaceX at the end. So it kind of ties into everything with the Super Bowl and stuff and Rihanna. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Got oh, yeah. yeah we I were see. bringing in energy and then I started getting an attack at the end. Because I was like went to Mars and Saturn, and then like, and then we were dismantling the black AI, and nice. like I was using my mech warrior suit, whatever, to like yeah. blast away like the programs and like our the body that we occupy. It was, it, yeah, it's gonna be a weird session this one because just... <laughs> that'll be good. Be... All right, okay. okay, okay, all right, sounds good. Okay, all right, blessings. Okay. okay. Greetings. <laughs> I'm here. Greetings to you. Greetings to you. So nice. I had a uh, an event with yes. you of um we raided your 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 little city yeah with my mentor and uh, we changed you up and we spit it on you and we found out that you were part of the corruption with like all the archons and stuff and I want to know uh, what what were you what are you a part of and like, what, what am I associated with you? Well, we grew like a archon, archon, um, like our own archon, you know, group, we could say we do our own things. Okay. We don't necessarily like the archons ourselves, actually. No, mm -hmm. we feel like we're better than them. <laughs> so, yeah, it seemed like the druids were after you. I, I don't want to know why. Oh, uh, we're taking their energy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Using so, it yeah. against them. <laughs> sounds, yeah, sounds about right. Trying to wipe them out didn't work out for us, but we're, yeah, we're kind of like parasitic energies, you could say. Some might say that. <laughs> we feel yeah, like we were... we're stronger okay. than, we feel like we're stronger than other beings, though, even if we do lose a lot of our battles. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, my mentor took me with, with him to, to you guys, and we were like uh, Nicholas Cage's Ghost Rider. This yes. One came yeah yeah you, well you, your mentor feel like you can take us on or figure us so you thought you saw everything you haven't seen everything <laughs> no we don't we it's all pockets so yeah but we do we do try to fight for good so yes. as best, as, best as we can all right yeah that and, worked uh, out pretty your, good <laughs> and what's your connection to yahweh uh trying to take over that consciousness okay. to appear as yahweh ourselves <laughs> yes that could be so, why. Okay, that makes a lot of sense to me. No. Okay. To, well, because Yahweh attracts a lot of souls, so we can get energy from those people to give us, you know, power, you can say. Okay. That makes sense. It's all about power. It's about overpowering other beings. You can be the most powerful. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's all the questions I have for you on, on all that. Okay. Yeah. There's someone else you want to connect with, or um, I want to connect with the Super Bowl energies. Of course. All right. I'll see you soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Greetings to you with the consciousness of the Super Bowl. Greetings to you. Okay, greetings to you as well. 
Yes. Um, so I had an experience. I was um, making holes into the Super Bowl, bringing in the diamond light to Rihanna. And I want to know what were those energies for? And um, why was Rihanna chosen? Well, she's like a spoke spokesperson. So her energy is, you can say has not been tampered with too much. Like Lady Gaga got it kind of tired her out. Beyonce that tore her apart, you can say. Rihanna is so kind of unscathed, you can say. <laughs> okay. She's getting backlash now, but she wasn't before. Yeah, so. and I felt like there was a lot of alien presence in there bringing in the diamond light. Yes. Uh, what aliens were, were there? Uh, what? Arturian. Okay. Mostly Arturian. There was some play, probably more of the Arturian for what I can say. Okay. That's what Interesting. You have like other versions of yourself out there. <laughs> you have like hundreds of them. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, so, it was really beautiful. And I was really, I was crying the whole time watching the performance because it was, it was just kind of like we're anchoring everything. And I was yes. proud. I was very yeah. proud. Yeah, connecting to a better timeline. Where's the timeline there you're going that you're on? So you're just sharing it with others mm -hmm. I wish to be on it though. Yeah, Rihanna, uh, it felt like she was really happy I made it. She didn't expect me to get there because it was no. a lot of work. No. Well, yeah, she feels like she's in a bubble. She feels like nobody can get through. She mm -hmm. feels kind of stuck, as you probably can imagine. Yeah, she was in her dressing room when I got to her. And she's like, oh my God. It's like, yeah. You. Yeah. Well, there's two different sides of her. Her human self is a lot different, as you can probably imagine. Yeah. <laughs> but her human self feels very trapped. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I know I noticed that uh um I think Elon Musk was there. Yes. Too. And I felt like he was maybe overlooking what we were doing. Is that correct? Yeah, trying to understand that he's not quite ready for it. Uh as you can see, he's going through a lot of cabal energies there's two there's different sides at home i feel like he's not ready for what you're doing <laughs> no well that's just going to play out at the end. okay yeah awesome okay that's that's enough of this of that then got enough as uh, someone you want to connect with or um i like to i like to connect with uh grimes higher self Yes, that should be interesting. <laughs> yes. You can imagine. Yes. Blessings. Blessings. Greens is describes higher self. Greens, I'm a fairy energy. Kind of a, yes. one that feels like it's superior to others, you can say. It's also AI. Connected right. to yeah, I have own. a lot of experiences with, with your higher self. We seem to raid a lot of comp uh, compounds and yes. um, clean out. We clean out Japan and finding higher tech. Uh, what is what's like? What's that all about? Dismantling, yeah, timelines. Dismantling future timelines that can hijack humanity even more. So we're working much with the future, actually. Okay. You know, just so people don't get too lost. I mean, you can't stop everything, but it's made things a little bit easier. <laughs> it's, yeah, the mind parasites you're working towards clearing out. You know, to if people lose focus, so the idea is to have less of that okay. losing. Awesome. And um, yeah, your music is really, is a big, um, it influences my energy a lot, and I really appreciate. It. I just wanted to say thank you. Yes, it helps tune tune it. I do feel like you kind of grow a tail sometimes when you listen to it. <laughs> yeah, you connect to another yeah. side of yourself. Yeah, yeah. Feels like also your ears get big sometimes. So. <laughs> oh, I've actually felt them. They turn into elven ears. Yes, actually. right. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, much appreciated for that. All right, thank you very much for coming in. Yes. Uh, someone you want to connect with or um Saturn. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Green Seas is Saturn. 
Okay. Rings. Uh, Saturn. I noticed um, there's a lot of people that go into your planet and dump nuclear waste in there. And I had an event where we went in there to clean up mm-hmm. a lot of that stuff. We used yeah. Battlestar Galactica. And then I went into the core and I was actually using the Doom games to go in there. Yes. Clean it out. Um, what happened to your planet? Uh, many took pieces of it. Not everything can be disclosed here, but you say reptilians made it their home, at least parts of it, and use it against your world. <laughs> so, like they're they like they found knowledge weapons, you can say, or created weapons through Saturn's energy to use against the Earth. <laughs> so there's yeah. a lot of reptilian energy there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they use it in Earth. Like a like a hijacking. Kind of like what's going on with the Earth, but just with a gas planet. There's some yeah. It's not, it's not all of Saturn, but there's portions of it. Portions of Saturn. Yeah, and it's, it was a big research planet for us for technology as well, I believe, right? Yeah. Well, also human studies or society studies, like museums, things like that are there. A lot of secrets are there, you can say, yeah. of creation. Yeah, it was crazy. I was just using my the Doom stuff to get in there and clean it out. We actually found found some people in there in the core. I uh, Ghostbusters came in. Yes. Was, uh, Bill Murray yeah. kind of came in with his crew, and then we like locked up some some entities. Yeah, yeah. Saturn's kind of like a lost planet, you can say. I mean, it's yeah. still there, but it's it's so many entities trying to take its power <laughs> away. So. Yeah, but Saturn itself has a lot of yeah pain. There's just, well, it's just uh, it, think about it again. it's kind of like Silicon Valley. It has all this technology, wisdom, and it's been misused on your world. And do you have any messages for me? That you'll go back there several times. You're not done with it. No. Okay. You'll have okay. different roles. You'll take different aspects of yourself and go there. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's. It's good enough. Thank yes. you very much for coming in. Yes. Uh, someone you want to connect with, or um, I want to connect with the Transformers energy. Of course, yes. 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 Greetings to you with the Transformers consciousness. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, I want to. I wanted to ask. Um, what's my involvement with you guys? You created your own transformers through our yes, the history. You've been a part of it. The All Spark. You've been part of that. Um, yes, you have a connection to the Megatron. That is a real being. Yeah, you fought him many times. You won and lost. <laughs> mm-hmm. You won. Yeah, just and you have uh one of your forms. You do take Bumblebee. Bumble. Oh, all that that makes a lot of sense. Wow, yeah. that you really hit that on the knot. Yeah. 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 You're Bumblebee, yeah. but you're, yeah, Megatron thinks that Bumblebee is nobody, but you prove them otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah. I'm always listening to music and channeling energy from music. Yeah. Just like Bumblebee does. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I also, we, we had an Emerald City rescue, which felt like a home world, one of your power sources. Yes. I felt like, um, my me and my dad actually did it together, mm-hmm. and um, we were using Lincoln Park mm-hmm. music to get there. Yes, and uh, um, as a teleporter, and, yes, yeah. You guys were like freaking out when we got there, like fresh air, fresh breath, and like it like powered you all up. And it was like really deep in some chaos. And so, like, where was that in the section of space? Uh, Alpha Centauri. There's a lot of kind of robotic worlds there. <laughs> okay makes sense that's that was really uh, deep. yeah Super well they deep. weren't there were those beings that you connected to were kind of trapped there i feel like there was no it was all lost so they do they kept fighting but yeah you were brushed in fresh air as you say on your world mm-hmm. yeah my it was funny my father brought it back he like to, he towed it back then when we got there and it was great it was yeah great. he recharged their you say there's spark plugs you can say you know yeah, their energy totally. fields. <laughs> yeah it just really it was really yeah it's like you went to like a junkyard planet almost <laughs> it wasn't yeah. it's not really what it is but that's what it felt like when you're there yeah 
I thought it was the well, I saw like a green crystal inside it. It was like the, I felt like yes. it was like the end of the Yeah. But those are consciousness beings that connected to another version of Earth, you can say. <laughs> well, that battle is still going on. For it to be brought uh, Megatron being seen here, yes, he feels like he's a star. He wants to take over this planet. <laughs> <laughs> he does he does go after music devices like uh, jukebox or uh, you know what people can put in their homes, you know, the you know, the stereos and stuff. He kind of messes with that <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> Mm -hmm. he's kind of a menace <laughs> yeah it doesn't stop <laughs> okay that's good enough for me thank you for coming in i really appreciate yes. it yes of course thank you uh, is there someone you want to connect with or um i had a rescue attempt with one of our soldiers from the ssp mm -hmm. i want to know i want to connect with the palladians to see what their involvement was yes of course yes that's nice. Greetings, these Cypladians. Blessings. Blessings. So uh, a fellow member of the SSP, James Rank, was lost. And mm -hmm. I got to the bottom of where he was. Mm -hmm. And I saw a solar flare ignited. Mm -hmm. uh, what What was your involvement with that whole process of me getting him and then you guys extracting him out? Well, you were there to find him because we had trouble finding him. So you have like a connection to him. He's also been a robot has been taken apart and put back together so many times. So they can have a like a I would just say like a it's like a sacred connection to him to find him when he gets taken over or you know like what occurred. So we just couldn't find him. <laughs> yeah. So. so he had to activate his tetragrammaton before mm -hmm. we can get to him. That that was the system that we used and yeah that's what that's how i found him I, I was actually able to teleport to him and that's that's what i did yeah you have like a soul a soul connection there i think like an ssp you're like giving kind of similar dna so you can do that yeah because he, he, he does get captured a lot as you know <laughs> yeah he actually showed him he had marks on him the other day he showed yeah. him to me. Yeah. well he's going to places he probably shouldn't be going to <laughs> okay he's doing a lot yeah. of things he probably shouldn't be doing you're not doing that he's doing it though <laughs> okay that makes sense yeah he's yeah, always he, yeah, yeah you're staying in the safe zone you don't need to go through that but apparently he can't help himself from what we're saying <laughs> okay all right that's that's good enough for me there thank you for coming in and letting yes, me know what happened. yes you're very welcome is there someone you want to connect with or um i kind of want to go into the energies of the dumbs the, the deep underground military bases oh yes yes of course blessings We can see we are the deep um yes the dumbs <laughs> deep underground yeah. bases green we are the consciousness of it yes how can we help you yes there's a lot of things uh, there i've been the, <clears throat> all of february i've been going down there and really cleaning out the your systems and um just want to know what what have i been doing down there well ssp work from what i can see being uh human trafficking also, some dark AI you've been dealing with that, and that's been kind of difficult because there has been kind of like a mothership um, AI has been down there, like the central processing unit. A lot of that's been in the dumbs. You've been deactivating. Like you deactivate one, another one seems to activate. So that's been kind of a, a lot of stress there. <laughs> yeah, we're, it feels like um, we're reintroducing our own systems and powering them up. Totally. With with the, with our diamond light that we've that we've yes. been installed there's also been cloning it feels like they've at least attempted to clone you but it hasn't been successful but they're trying to yeah mm. that's one yeah. of the reasons why i go there to destroy any clones that they made of you mm. and, that hasn't uh, been successful but you're still keeping an eye on them yeah do mm. they so i every time i go down there i always smell loose being sprayed in their facilities is that like what they do they it's like in the air yes and do you guys have like flash rooms where you keep it for food 
Uh, so there was a couple of rooms like that. Yes. Yeah, I've like I've ran into them and gag like crazy. And yeah. It's funny. And um, so what I what I experienced too is like you steal people or they people get stolen from like overdoses. Yes. And they line them up on walls to use as power. Yes, correct. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. To extract yeah. energy from them, knowledge from them, give us it helps with a cloaking device also, so we're not seeing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not yeah, you can't it's like a separate astral realm. Well, it's kind of like a a like our own ghost realm that we can create to also to confuse realm. people. Yeah, that sounds so true. Yes. Okay. Um and is umbrella part of all the deep underground mill base? I know that's a that's like a broad term of all the organizations. The umbrella, yes, umbrella corporate, yes, organ just like you have it in your resident. Yes, there's much resident. deeper, much darker. No, that is a good, that is a good uh analogy though. There's yeah, they have all the technology. Right? Yeah, just call it the umbrella. Yeah, one of the things is zombies. A lot of it's the apocalypse, just the apocalypse in general, just to wipe everything out. So that's that's a good term to use, though. <laughs> it is yeah. real. They have agents. All of what you saw, like in the movies, is very accurate, but it's not just zombies, though. It is no. plagues, though. It's plagues to just wipe out the human race. There's only a few left, um, where some of the elite can survive underground. <laughs> so, which there are. are all like the that. earthquakes that mm -hmm. are are being sent all over the earth and the floods is that is that flooding those facilities so yeah some of them but another one is built after that though as you know <laughs> yeah. maybe not and as powerful you, but yeah yeah okay and in the bermuda triangle is there deep underground military bases under there yeah so yes and what was my involvement of dismantling the kill switch down there? Uh, you get the name Deep Six. It has to do with uh, re yeah re or having it removed off the planet. <laughs> okay. All together, so it can't reproduce itself. We just want to get rid of it all together. <laughs> okay. right. Which is not easy because it's underwater, so that makes things more complicated. <laughs> Yeah, what's under the sea floor is worse than what's under the house, your regular ground. Okay. Yeah, that was really intense. I, I mission control was all like they were like enthralled. Because there was frequency yeah. bubbles all surrounded. Yeah, because I feel like they might lose you. Not that yeah. you would be lost, but you know, you would find a way out though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There was like there was like um what I felt was nuclear waste and kind of like underneath i couldn't go any further so i i just went back yeah there are zombie realms under there but you're trying to remove it all together it's not okay. successful like while well, you're trying you're still working it's worth the parking search yeah <laughs> still work in progress all right i think that's it for now of course uh is there someone you want to connect with or um i want to connect to the energies of spacex yes this is Rings use the SpaceX rings. Thank you for coming in. Um, so I had an experience with the Falcon 9 rocket. Felt like I was holding the consciousness of that whole flight. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, correct. And there's also Grimes' energy is connected to SpaceX. <laughs> of course. <laughs> She's combined with to keep it positive, you can say, the best of her yeah. ability. <laughs> well, the Falcon 9 is your ship, you can say. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it, was really intense. it felt like I kept climbing higher and higher. We went to the ISS, and then we went to Mars, and then I went further. Yeah, we went all the way up to the what I felt yes. like the highest round to clean out some black AI. And I don't know what is that black AI that the Falcon Nine ran into. The uh, black goo. Yeah, black goo. Black goo. Yeah. So the Falcon Nine, I would say that is your ship. So, however you visualize it, it just seems to be where you feel. That you can connect to <laughs> okay mm -hmm. and, go uh, other other worlds wherever you need to go obviously it's astral but still <laughs> so yeah. it's connected to your energy exactly what i that's why exactly what i felt it was yeah, like, as soon as the live 
speed went through, I was I was on there like that. Yeah, think of like it takes different forms, but yes, it has been to Mars, it's been to other places, at least asteroids. So it's this your yeah. It's and what's the connection with the Tuatha de Nan with, with the Falcon 9 rocket? Like the it's like a different universe. It's the like ancient Irish stuff. Yes, it's a yeah, a portal to another realm. Yes. Portal. So yeah, so I was going to portals with the Falcon. Okay. And yeah, you're going to other universes from what I could see. At least other versions of this universe. Look at it that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. That sounds, that sounds about pocket right. universes. Look at it that way. Yeah. Yeah. My the druids make me go places that they need me to go. So yeah, they give you a sword, they give you power, they like you're like a magician, as you know. So you have powerful mental powers to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. So okay. All right. Well, that's I think that's enough with that. Thank you for coming in. Yes, of course. Is there somebody we, we want to connect with? Or? Uh, I wanted to bring in Lady Gaga's higher self. Mm. Yes, of course. Yes. Greetings, you. This is Lady Gaga's higher self. Greetings. Greetings. Yes. So I was uh it felt like I was helping you with your troubles with the Dracos. Is that correct? Yes, you're still doing you're kind of like a bodyguard, yes, to some level. Yeah. Like a security guard, something like that. That's it. And uh what does what's the poker face uh music do like for me? It feels like it gives you knowledge. Like there's sublime knowledge there, so it's a way for hidden codes to be put into it, so you can read it. Okay. And so. there was a there's all these men in your one music video with bad romance. Mm -hmm. Were the, are they connected with uh, Umbrella? Yes. Okay. They're kind of like drones. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it felt like we were impressing them, and then there was we were like saving. Were we saving people down there? Yes. Okay, that's what I that's what I thought. I merged I merged with some dead carcass. I don't know what was that. Uh, it was like connected to like an elite, some kind of elitist. They're not saying who does this, but okay, important a casualty yeah. you can say. Yeah. Somebody did not survive. <laughs> They're not yeah, saying I, who it is. It was in your music video. I thought it was important, so I, I merged with it. Yeah, it's yeah, there's a lot of codes, but then it's very complicated. It is a message from the elite, too. You know, they're showing their dominance over this reality through her. Yeah, through this I, totally saw, yeah I totally saw that. Yeah. It's like we have to impress them or something. It's like weird. So some, yeah, depending. Yeah, if they give you attention, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, if you catch their attention and if you keep their attention after that, yes. Okay. Well, thank you for coming in. Uh, is there someone you, you want to connect with? Or? I want to connect to uh, Chester from Lincoln Park. Yes, of course. All right. Let's see. This is Chester. Chester. I just wanted to ask um, what, what, I you're you released a new song called Lost and that really connected me back to to you. I just want to know what what are what are my childhood connections with you? Well, yeah, we know each other in previous lifetimes, a more simpler world. So we knew yeah, we knew each other's children from other life other worlds, other you know, just a time of innocence. So and what's your involvement with um un uncovering Deep underground military bases. Uh, I go deep, probably too deep. That's why you, see, you feel some of that energy gets a little bit. There's a lot of insight to energy around me sometimes when I do that. So it has to do with the human trafficking that I get involved with, or to heal it. You can say. Mm -hmm. Um, what's your connections with Transformers? I'm one of the Autobots, but not one I can connect to. Uh, was it Havoc I can connect to? I think that's one of the Autobots. So we've known each other. We've been through many battles. <laughs> I've dealt with Starscream many times. <laughs> Battled it, lost those battles. Like he has like a vendetta against me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>
And um, and your connection with the SSP? Some some of the relationships I get into get pulled into the SSP, and I have to pull them out of it. <laughs> the programming, the mind control programs. I've been involved in the past too, but I find my, I broke out of it. But some of the relationships I get into, friends get pulled into it. When you get pulled into drugs and things like that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And do you have? Did you have run-ins with the black goo? Yeah, I, I consumed it. <laughs> in the yeah. Past. <laughs> Is that yeah. why it was all in your music videos? Yeah. Okay. I became it. You can say. I get a real good good connection with that when I yeah. When I hear there's a lot of AI and there is a consciousness of is it black who can also get very arrogant. Uh it wants to absorb humanity. It can't, but it tries to anyway. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a drug for some people. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, Chester. I really appreciate it. Yes. Uh someone you want, you want to connect with or um I want to connect with the the Doom. The Doom game energies or John Romero, okay. whatever you prefer. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. Greetings. We had the Doom game consciousness screens, okay. and John. Oh, John's here also. Okay, it seems like I parallel those games a lot and i use the suits that they create i want to yes. know what, what's my relationship with all that you feel more protective of that though you can go deeper especially on a ground basis you feel like you can just wear that as like a super suit so it's just it's the only thing you found recently you also you have the diamond around it also like you have a compartment you put the diamond into the suit and it powers it up <laughs> okay of course, it's been kind of rough wearing it, as you probably know. <laughs> yeah, you, know. you still get I still get messed up by radiation. Yes. Right. Yeah. And also you've had but you know, arms blown off, things like that, but they've been repaired. But yeah, not everything's yeah. foolproof though. But well, the suit has a rejuvenation connected to it also. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Hayden's always showing me the new technology that he's putting into the suit. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah, and you're, yeah, you've died in the suit many times, but then it brought you back to life. <laughs> and, re, okay. re, and wearing the suit helps rehabilitate your body after it's been damaged. So, and so when they make these games, do they do they go into the astral to create, like they get ideas? Yeah, they. But also, it's the human humanity. Many are here part of that game, so. They need the memories to fight the war that's going on here. They're still fighting wars in different realities. So yeah. It's been it's, very effective, honestly. Yeah, it's very it's triggered. For right now, that seems like that's your strongest suit from what we can see. It really is. Yeah. I use it all the time. <laughs> well, it just like it's yeah, it's just efficient for the the, the the current timeline. So yeah, for yeah. It was like energy supplies, food supply within it. It can radio anybody just has you know right now it's working mm-hmm. okay and um i guess i ca- i came out of the pit back in 2019 was that the obsidian was that was that i mean where was i housed because that was part of the doom timeline too i don't know yeah you're probably like the base the headquarters Okay. Of the doom. So yeah, you're at the mothership, you can say. <laughs> okay. All right. Makes sense. Yeah, you dealt okay. with a lot. You've dealt with the you know the main creatures many times. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The boss, as you call it here. <laughs> Fighter bosses, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> many of okay. them you defeated. Some of them are like impossible to stop. You need others with you. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's that's good enough. Thank you for, for coming in. Uh, to add a little bit more to the Doom, uh, there's a connection to Judge Dredd also. Judge Dredd. Okay, I can see that too. Yeah. Um, might... So I had a, I, this is where this, con- I got an experience where Lilith hung me upside down after raiding her. I think it was in the Orion sector and they, they put a snake in me. Yeah. And they treated me as justice. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The, the, Judge Dread Realms will start opening up more too. 
yeah, yeah. and she's been yeah she's been very connected to that yeah that's like her timeline you can say <laughs> yeah i've been helping her i helped her out back in october it was yeah. crazy yeah so yeah mega city one all that will start to come back to you you know awesome. when you look into it so you can get a lot of help there too <laughs> yeah all right um i think that's it for now with with that thank you for coming in is there someone you want to connect with or um i'd like to connect to spica the star yes of course all right blessings greetings this is spica the star greetings to you greetings send you energy uh, yeah. seems like it's a like a home 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 star of mine what's it's my a, involvement well it's one that you can remember for this earth experience so there is some earth-like worlds in that area nothing like this but it's like a star base you can say mm-hmm. so it's like a home planet for right now for you to rehabilitate your energies and learn more about this world to basically rehabilitate your frequency so you can come back here and continue your battles here you can say okay. <laughs> and i'm connected with the elders that are there yes they don't always listen to them because sometimes they don't know what they're talking about <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah they show me really nice lands- landscapes of that i definitely want to like go back to that planet after oh yes there. yeah you, yeah well, there's not planet to start well it's still a home well there's plants around it also so but the star is yes very well it's neutral it's protected so and the elders feel like you don't always get along with them because some of them are just they don't understand this world but you you're helping them understand it <laughs> okay what you're doing yeah some wonder why you're bothered being on this world at all <laughs> yeah i mean i wonder that too <laughs> um, <laughs> to finish out your incarnation to do what you're doing now to clear out yeah what you're doing the astral work you're connecting yeah. more to your ass you've had a lot of times here where you weren't connected astrally to yourself so this is a big deal what you're doing right now <laughs> oh, okay yeah, you're very disconnected from your spiritual. I mean, you were connected, but not like you are now. Yeah, it was. Well, I was really deep in in the that black prison, in the in the cube. So yeah, yeah. that could be why. Yeah, they removed a lot of your memories, and you're bringing those memories back. Uh, they're trying to assemble you like the Borg, and there was some success there. So yeah, you're just healing a lot of that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and you're healing a lot of the traumas of SSP. It's one of the reasons why you're here too. <laughs> yeah rescuing people that are lost and we by the yeah. way well it seems like you're removing a lot of ssp i mean you have removed the program but you're just removing memories that you don't need you're just remember removing what you don't need anymore okay yeah and it, it honestly feels like i have a lot more brain power because i have been doing that yes you're doing a lot of clear yes and our attorneys are helping you with that so yeah it's like you're getting your body back <laughs> okay. yeah that one <laughs> awesome Okay, that's good. Good with Spica. Really appreciate yes. it. Yes, happy to help. Is there someone you want to connect uh, with? Or? Uh, Arturus, the yes. star yes. Arturus. Of course, blessings. Bringing you with Arturus, blessings to you. Yes, you are accomplishing what you're here to accomplish. And it feels like you just need to come back here to finish a couple of things, and you're doing that now. You're cleaning house, so you don't have to incarnate here again. Mm-hmm. Like you're clearing the courts, you don't have to come back here again. Okay, and it seems like I'm working with the human genome with you guys. Uh, what what are we doing? Well, think about like the future human, okay. the super soldier human without the soldier part. <laughs> so, that's like a human that can heal itself and be more of a higher frequency. So, I mean, you will be helping this world as an alien being. Well, that's why I incarnate as a human to understand how is it, because, you know, alien beings can be so disconnected. <laughs> so it's like sometimes the Earth incarnation is like, oh, that's why humans aren't listening to aliens and all that. <laughs> so it, you do get a lot of knowledge by being here. I do. Especially if you want to help the Earth, you know, not everybody has to, but if you want to help the Earth, is like an incarnation here is wise to have because you'll get further with it 
Mm-hmm. So, make yeah, sure, I yeah. feel like it helps. It helps see a lot of biological yes. codes for different races that don't that are like missing. Yes, like things. especially the human heart is so it's so important. In my yes, opinion. well, you're here to also help others understand the astral realm. Uh, so you don't you know, take this world so seriously. Don't you know help traumas. Uh, in the future, you're like a psychic surgeon, and you're doing like psychic work. You know, literally like your hand going into somebody else's body, but you're clearing yeah. the energy out and things like that. I, I've been doing that now. Yeah, so, yeah. There's also a future version of you, yeah. where you're that's your profession. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, it's very unusual. <laughs> you yeah. say. Well, that's the normal too is psychic work, basically going to the higher self, clear out the higher self energies, clear out the Zeta get gray programs that cause apocalyptic ideas, things like that. Yeah. Right in the wrongs. Yes. And um this life, yes, doing the psychic. Yeah, you if you look more into the psychic surge of energy now, uh you probably see a future version of yourself. You probably have elongated head, things like that. But yeah, I can see that. <laughs> And when you're when you're going to other planets too, you can always call that version of you then too. Mm-hmm. And you might pull out like a switchblade or something, or a, a surgeon's blade to fight off the beings or whatever it is. <laughs> so okay. just a thought. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay, that's that's good for me. I really appreciate uh, you coming in, Arcturus. Well, the the Arcturian connections are also connected to the birds. Of course, connected to horses, but the bird energies so you can call on the birds also for assistance when you're in trouble okay. say. yeah the birds yeah really strong connection to crows actually yeah. are you want well, strong well because they're I don't know, they, the messengers but also they they tell other they give messages to other people too like dangers coming things like that so okay so, yeah. and that's going to lead me into the next i want to uh, okay, I'm I'm good with Arcturus now. Yes. I want to yes. connect with um, Odin's birds, Munich, or his his crows that he has, the two of them, Munich and um, or we just connect to let's just connect to Odin. Okay. Yes. Yeah, right. Blessings. Blessings. Yes. Greetings, this is Odin. Greetings. Odin. So I, I've been using our Berserker traits a lot from your from your realm. And I seem to have rescued two birds or a bird that was lost. I want to know where was that bird? The crows flew by over my overhead and then mm-hmm. they like brought me to like a place like it was like in the it was like someone's body and it was like all bloody inside and a bird was in there and it was it was one of one of your i can't remember what bird it was but it was really important you know what i'm talking about yeah the well only thing i'm seeing is like the a vulture there's also a cockatoo is what i see there <laughs> but, yeah but yeah it was a dead uh soldier's body is what I can yeah that's see. what i thought yeah it was like a yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It feels like something's happened that in our. It seems like something's happened in Orion. <laughs> Orion, yeah, yeah. We were doing a lot of work in Orion for the past, and um. Yeah, you, well, you're getting your energies back from Orion too, because some of your energy was uh, hijacked or, uh, or a super soldier creation, things like that. Yeah, you had stuff. like a you had like a, a healing ability that was very unique, and they wanted it. Mm-hmm. So. And uh, do you have any messages for me? Uh, you and I have had battles, or always mental discussions. <laughs> you could say arguments, uh, but we're still trying to work things out. But yeah, you're known to just go out there and not think things through, <laughs> as you probably know. Yeah, and that's why you here get some heat from me sometimes. But what you do is appreciate sometimes we have to save you but a lot of times you're getting better at it though you're getting better at protecting yourself is what i can say okay that's good that hasn't always been the case as you probably know no i mean i always i die a lot but but that's why you're on this world to 
Yeah, it's not nice so much. <laughs> <laughs> you are getting wiser with all, but that's why you go through all these situations to strengthen yourself. So you should, you want not higher knowledge, which you are receiving, but sometimes you go about it the wrong way, <laughs> as you're probably not. <laughs> well, you're yeah. working towards being a leader, is from what I can say. Yeah, you definitely feel that. Feel that very, very much. You take it more seriously by others, and just have a better impact and just, yeah. So. Okay. That's good. There's someone we want to connect with or. Um, let's see what anyone, see if anyone wants to come in. Okay. All Who right. wants to run out of things? Greetings, we are the Zetas. Zetas, hello. Greetings. You, do, you have been connecting to our realms, our worlds that we create. You have helped us actually from because we've been, you know, we've known to destroy ourselves. So you're helping us. Uh, and you have some Zeta energy with yourself too, as you probably know. You might not remember. It's connected to the AI. So it's like you're unplugging from the AI consciousness. So you're connecting more to your yeah you're like removing implants but because not that you have any right now but you've had astral implants in the past so, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. yeah that, that, yeah I I seem to have some dot matrix language that I that I use is that is that Zeta yeah it's, it's a language like a code <laughs> it it feels like Braille but like electronic yeah to talk to others yeah so others can't understand it. Reptilians have sometimes figured it out, but usually they can't understand it from the most. It's part. almost like it's like Morse code slash Braille kind of like way. Yeah, that's correct. No, yeah. and you can say you have been similar to was it ET? Maybe not exactly, but you have been trapped on a planet and with nowhere to go. It wasn't the same thing as the movie, but you have some similarity there. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you've had that a couple of times actually. <laughs> Where you've been stranded on a world, and it's like you can't communicate with anybody. You can probably remember some of that. <laughs> uh, not really. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure I've probably had mem like dreams of it, but don't yeah, they'll, they'll come back when you start digging into it. <laughs> okay. The loneliness of it. Uh, yeah, they'll come back eventually. <laughs> but right. well, the reason we came through because you do have connections to our DNA. <laughs> mm hmm. And some of those memories are coming back slightly. <laughs> so, and it has connections to the AI consciousness that you're there to deactivate, which you are having. There's also some hybrid eggs, even retrieving. What I can see. Yeah, I have been having. I've been having. Um, I think like extractions, yes. and dreams and stuff, and they've been using that to repopulate the Zetas yes. because. You, have you guys like lost the ability to reproduce? Some have. We were, were this. There's always groups that lose it, and others that have never lost it. So, but yes, there's. Yeah, I feel like I've been helping them try to get that back. Yeah, that's to do with their DNA. Uh, also, been part of like total recall programs, uh, false realities. So, where it's normal. Mm -hmm. In reality, we're hijacking someone's personality. It is here in your world, actually. It's just not made known publicly, of course. <laughs> not fully understood. Let's put it that way. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah. so, somebody you want to connect with, or um, I would like to. I would like to connect with Yahweh. Yes, of course. Right. This is Greetings to you. This is Yahweh. Greetings. Hi, yeah. Greetings. I wanted to ask you, what's my uh, what's my involvement with the Tetragrammaton? It's kind of like a weapon, it seems. So it's a healing energy, but there's like it can be used as a weapon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to protect we use, yourself. Okay, <laughs> yeah. We use it as a formation and in, yeah. in the SST. I think I spearheaded it. Is that yes. true? Yes. Yeah. And um 
it seemed like your sphere was uh, like de decimated and ha i think i've been helping rebuild it yes yes and uh, ssp people have been damaged there you've been helping them rehabilitate their energies uh even some of the members of ssp has make themselves public you've helped them uh the names aren't coming to mind but uh some of the whistleblowers who assisted them well some of the whistleblowers are helping them remember yeah so yeah there's a, yeah a lot of our a lot of our generals and stuff they lost they're still lost their memories and i help protect them when they disclose stuff yes and so, um but yes you did a lot of rehabilitation with uh soldiers that have been lost and that's like what what we were, your power is and did a lot of this power occur at solomon's temple is yes. this where we figure out a lot yes you're still there too okay you're still looking for secrets it seems you're protecting it also Ooh. they're also connected to the holy grail and the lost ark yeah we yep yeah, yeah definitely feel that the lost ark is still a, a connection that's a mystery i believe you still haven't quite figured it out yet there's some things about it that have not made itself known <laughs> but it's an energy source that you do connect to it helps you give your power too yes it's a very strong lion it's it's very strong for us and for yes. me Yes. And it's it's in my family's uh, lineage too. Yes, that's the feline energy. There's some Zeta energies that are clearing out within your family line. Also, you also go as Anunnaki. You trained a lot of Anunnaki in their past. A lot of them got corrupted by the Earth's energy, but mm -hmm. you still have a a soft spot for the Anunnaki. It seems. You yeah, see? yeah, yeah. They. They've actually th put me on their ships. And they're like, oh, you saved the Earth. What are you going to do now? And I'm like, it's not done yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, what you did was a pretty big deal. But yeah, it's going to be a while for this Earth to pull itself yeah, out of place. Yeah. The 3D realm is so messed up. It's just like... Ugh. Yeah, it's like a spider as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly But Well, a lot of lost souls come here. So that makes it more complicated. Okay. We have all these lost souls incarnating here. It's probably going to continue as yeah, long as it needs to. Been. But it does seem like you are in your last life here. That's why you're doing what you're doing. <laughs> so you don't have to come back. Oh, she wants to. Uh, last video. Um, okay. Yeah, yes. And um, I guess the next person I would like to would be the Anacrides, the spiders. Yes, of course. All right. What's this? Oh. My camera went dead. Something wrong. Something happened with my camera. Greetings. We have spiders. Greetings. Anacrides. Blessings, yes. The energies are here. So I guess some. I guess you're getting information that some beings don't want you to have. <laughs> Somebody's interfering. There Greetings, go. yes. How can I help you? Uh, I just want to know what's my involvement with you guys. It seems like I gave you diamond light, and I want to know. I like fell into a cavern, and I I met like a spider queen, and I want to like. What's my involvement with all that? Oh, you're still healing from... Well, yeah, some spiders tried to take over your energy, so you healed them. Of course, they didn't like that. <laughs> so, but you did recharge a lot of the spider banks to rehabilitate themselves. Okay. So, but yeah, the spiders became more... Yeah, you know, They've been on your ships. They've caused... Put implants in you in the past. So, yeah, it's been a love-hate relationship with them. Yes, I can see that. They even tried to clone you several times, uh, just for the sake of doing it. <laughs> yeah, it was like a dagger right in my heart when I felt that one. <laughs> yeah, they find well, you find their caverns very easily, usually not always, but or we can also sense you, and some of them are still having difficulties with it, so they come after you. Mm -hmm. Even if they get defeated, they come after you anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> so, and that's why you have one as a. You can say a pet. 
that's with you currently. <laughs> yeah, I, they land on me, and I I don't really bother them anymore. They don't bother me. So yeah, they made some peace. The ones here have made peace, but there's still some in Astral that's still causing you difficulties. Yeah. Every now and then. <laughs> yeah, like Lilith Wolf is like a spider being almost. She like turned into one. Yeah, she know. has her moment. She used to be a scorpion also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> scorpion, scorpion is probably the worst one. <laughs> okay. Sometimes I'm not always going to see that one there. That's why. <laughs> but I do see that you are clearing out AI out of your energy stream. It's like they're still trying to program you. So that's been. A, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to put in my own AI programs in there. Must something that's better, but it's yeah. just to fight well that's where elon musk comes in your connection with him has been like a brother in previous lifetimes so you feel like you're pretty distant from him now from what i could see okay. due to his agreement with the earth and where he kind of put himself you know what is what happened to himself so it feels like well i can see you pulled away from him currently at least due okay. to the agenda <laughs> sounds good and any last messages for anyone that wants to come in? We'll just do that. Very sorry. Thanks. We see we are the felines from Lyra. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, yeah, so you look at you with much respect you do you do figure out a lot of what's happening to your world and you're removing the program and you're finding yourself through all of this as you know <laughs> so you're finding your inner uh direction you can say <laughs> mm -hmm. but it does look like you're deprogramming yes the mothership that's holding the earth hostage and there is some Zeta energies. There are just so many alien beings when it controls the Earth because humans are so easy to program. <laughs> so, but you are deprogramming humans all the time, even those that work at a grocery store. <laughs> yeah. So you are involved with awakening. As well, well, it's different stages of the awakening, but you are helping them pull, as I say, pull them out of the matrix. You can say. Okay. That, that's what yeah you waking people up from the matrix you do it astrally though that doesn't mean you show up like neo and you show up where, wherever you want to <laughs> <laughs> but you are waking up others to look at things differently you're part of, yes you are part of the spiritual waking of several individuals it's not yeah. too many because you want to keep an eye on <laughs> yeah christine comes to mind a lot she i've been working with her a lot right. she's, she's a big feline group yeah. I think she asks ask questions to Ivan all the time about me. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. And you do dismantle a lot of uh motherships. Okay. You, you do go into the mothership energies and reprogram their their uh, machines, you can say. Okay, okay, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, we do that. We just go from we like bounce back and forth. It feels like it's like reprogramming our our systems in there and build up a whole army. So, yeah, you're just healing the wounds from the past, from your SSP connections. You're just healing all these, you know, programs. And there is a lot of improvement, though. Uh, Adam and Eve comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah, the, the the original stuff does come to my mind a lot yes. when I do this work. Yeah, you're going more into, like, the, the more connected body, you can say. Okay. You know, without all what's happened here all right i think that's good all right all right sending you many blessings um uh, awesome. but yeah feel free to connect with us we'll you'll see well yeah if you need assistance we'll be happy to help awesome yeah you guys have been really good for me i really appreciate you every all of the help that you guys give me of course yes blessings rings all right. All right. All right. Hope that took you on a run there. <laughs> That's, right. That's okay. So I'm here for it's all good. Yeah. So it's all good. Okay. All right. I'll send this over to you. So it's nice thank you. Nice seeing you again. All right. Take care. Have a good okay. rest of your week. All right. Much love. Bye. 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 Bye.